foodies welcome back to my channel join me in the kitchen today to make this delicious veggie pizza the first step to my pizza dough is having my yeast bloom here i have one cup of warm water make sure your water is warm not cold not too hot enough where you can stick your finger in like this and it feels just warm if it's not warm enough your yeast will not be able to bloom to this i will add one tablespoon of white sugar and two and a half teaspoons of dry active yeast i'll give this a whisk mix it in and i'll set this aside in a very warm spot for the yeast to bloom and foam up if this does not work within 10 minutes that means your yeast is not good it's dead or something is wrong with your water if that happens just throw it out start this process over and do not proceed to mix your dough unless you have this part right so i'll put this aside for 10 minutes and i'll come back and show you what it should be looking like after it's blue as my yeast is blooming at the moment here i have two cups of all-purpose flour to this i will add one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of salt these are the seasonings that i like to add to my pizza dough you can add any that you like or if you don't want to add any at all that's up to you but i like my dough to have a little bit of flavor i'll give this a good whisk to make sure everything is nice and evenly combined this is nice and mixed in now i just have a few more minutes for my yeast to finish blooming okay so my yeast has successfully proved this is what it should be looking like look at all that foam this is exactly what your yeast should be looking like if it doesn't look like this just repeat the steps and if it still doesn't happen a second time your yeast is probably dead or your water is not warm enough or it's too cold something is wrong just keep going at it and you'll get it so i have my flour here i'll add all of my yeast mixture into this and i'll go ahead and give this a good mix what you're looking for here is a nice soft shaggy dough a rough dough to come together and then the kneading process will smoothen it out your dough may need more or less water if you notice it's a little bit dry just add a tiny bit of water okay so i pulled everything together with the spatula i'm just going in with my hand to scrape down any additional flour i want to make sure i get everything here my hands is nice and clean i'll just go in with a little bit of flour here here i have my dough and i'll proceed to give it a good knead this needs to be worked in really well till you have a nice smooth pizza dough i'm going to continue to knead this for about six to eight minutes and then i'll come back and show you what your texture should be looking like okay i'm done kneading my dough it came out really nice and soft what I'm doing here, I'm just creating a nice tight dough ball so that we can have a nice even rise. In my mixing bowl, I will just add one teaspoon of oil to the bottom. I'll swirl it around and I'll put my dough in here. And I'll move it around in the oil because I want it to get a nice coat to the bottom so it doesn't dry out. To cover my bowl, I just place some cling wrap on top of here. This will give a nice, tight and even seal so that my dough can rise nicely. I'll set this aside 
for an hour to an hour and a half or until this doubles in size. Yours may vary based on the temperature you're making your dough in. I typically put mine in my microwave because it's very warm inside there. But wherever you're gonna put it, try to place it in a warm spot. So I'll put this to rise and then we'll come back and start preparing our piece. All right, I'm back. It's been an hour and a half. This is what my dough is looking like. Check this out. Look how much air is inside here. This is the fun part where you get to punch the dough down and release any air that's in there. I'll just go in with some flour on my surface here. A decent amount. Turn my dough over. I'll just give it one final knead to bring it back together. Okay, I have it nice and worked in there. Now, there are several ways that you can spread your pizza dough. You can spin it in the air, you can stretch it with your fingers, you can roll it out with a pin. I just give it nice light rolls with my rolling pin because I do not know how to swing dough in the air to stretch it out. Nor will I try to stretch it out with my fingers because it might not come out even. So to get a nice even round dough, I just go in with my rolling pin and I roll it out. Okay, this is what my dough is looking like. It's okay if it's not round right now. I will fit it to my pizza pan. What I'm gonna do, I'll just Put some flour on my rolling pin here and I'll roll my dough onto it just very lightly and pick it up. Here I have my pizza pan. I'll just come back and roll this on just like this. And I'll now fit it to my pan. Okay, this is what my dough is looking like on the pan. I'll just go in with a fork. And I'll just punch a few holes into it to allow for even baking. Now for my sauce, this is my all-time favorite sauce. I use this for pizza, any type of pasta, lasagna, stuffed shells. If I need a tomato based sauce, this is the only thing that I've ever used. If you guys have never tried this out before, trust me, give it a try and you'll absolutely love it. So. I have a bottle that is almost done here. I'll just pour this out. And I go in with a generous amount of sauce. Okay, I have my sauce nice and evenly spread out. I know this is not pizza sauce, but this is just the sauce that we like the most. Here I just have some shredded white sharp cheddar. I'll go in with a light layer first. I'll go in with some sliced red onions. You can use whatever toppings you like on a veggie pizza. This is just the selection of toppings that I'm using here that we like. I'll go in with some jalapeno, fresh. I have some yellow bell peppers. Green is really good here too. I just choose to use yellow and red today. Here I have my red. And on only half of the pizza, I'm gonna put pineapple because I'm the only one that eats the pineapple on the pizza. This is a very <laughs> debatable topic if pineapple belongs on pizza. In my opinion, it does. Not everyone likes it, but I do. So as you can tell, this half is hubby's half. This half is my half. He doesn't like pineapples. So that's everything that I want to put for my vegetables. I have the remainder of my cheese. I'll go in and give a generous sprinkle. This is what my pizza is looking like at the moment. I preheated my oven on the pizza setting at 400 degrees. 
If your oven doesn't have the pizza setting on it, you can preheat your oven on bake at 385 degrees. And for baking function on your oven, you'd bake this for 25 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna put mine on the pizza setting for 25 minutes, and then I'll take it out and I'll show you what it's looking like. Also, your oven may vary, so just gauge it. You can check the side of your crust. Once the side is cooked, your pizza should be done. And your vegetables is nice and cooked, your pizza should be done. So I'll put this in and then I'll come back and show you how it's looking when it's Okay, so the pizza is done baking in the oven. This is what it's looking like at the moment. I'll let it cool down just for a few minutes and then I'll put it on the board and cut it up and show you how good a slice is looking of this. Here we have my finished pizza. Look how good this is looking, guys. Let me pick a slice up. I already went ahead and cut it up. Look at that. Look at all those nice little pockets of air from the yeast. My dough was made really well. Look at all the pineapple, the jalapenos, the cheese, the onions, the little bit of peppers. And listen to this crust. Has a nice little crunch to it, but not overbaked. This looks delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Do give it a try. It's absolutely worth the effort. It's really not that hard to make. If you're gonna make this for your kids, I'm telling you, they're going to absolutely love it. Or you can make it for yourself too. You guys can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at I'm a foodie girl underscore 94. Usual, all of my ingredients and the measurements for them are always listed in the description box below. Do check it out when you're gonna try this recipe. See you on the next one. Bye.